Hi, I'm Hugo from StepCraft. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mill uh, something if uh, your bed is uh, not completely aligned uh, on the C-axis, maybe it's a little tilted. Um, this procedure can be used also to engrave something on a surface that it's not completely even. Uh, first, I set up the material on top of the machine and you can see it here. It's a little exaggerated. So if you can see, I put some something here to lift the the material, so it's uh, the material is not flat. What we're going to use for this is uh, using the 3D probe to test the surface of the material and engrave something on top of the, the material following the, um, the surface. So the first thing is to create the toolpath. Here I create a very simple toolpath. It's just an uh, oval and the StepCraft logo. And I made a simple uh, engraving with a uh, 45 degree end mill and it's just scratching the surface uh, it goes into the surface about 0.5 millimeters this way you can see that uh, if the material uh, as you can see it here on the on the video it's very inclinated on this part uh, if you follow the standard uh, engraving this part uh, on the on the left will be engraved and this part on the right will not be engraved following this logic. Uh, but with the probe, you will see that everything is going to align. First, as I mentioned, you define this. My zero, it's on the top left corner. Uh, that's important because that's going to be the, the starting point also for the, uh, for the engraving and where I have to put the probe. Uh, okay here what i need to do here is to activate a plugin called auto leveler ca uh, if you go to the configuration and go to plugins here you will see the auto leveler ca by default um, many times we have this enabled on most of the profiles if you don't have it enabled you need to enable this plugin then you need to restart the software uh, after enable the software you need to save the settings so because right now I have the plugin enabled, I can uh, show the plugin. Uh, this is the call startup plugin is to show you the plugin if you wanted to see it when you load the software. Right now I don't have it. Uh, I don't want to show me the plugin, but it's enabled so I can use it every, every time I want. Uh, okay, so I press show and it show me the plugin. I can close this part and the plugin is here on another window so be careful with that on the bottom of the uh, your windows you need to check which window you have active okay now go to run and the first thing is to set up the zero for the for testing the the material so i'm going to minimize this window uh, i'm going to show you here that my zero is going to be on the top uh, left corner I already put the X and Y of the probe here and now I need to probe the surface of the material on this position so I'm going to press uh, on this square the center and the center is going to measure the, the probe I'm going to press this button and it's going to probe the zero for the C-axis I press this button it warns me that it's going to prove the height Press OK. Then OK. Now the zero, the X and Y, it's set. OK, now I need to use the Auto Leveler CA to calculate the surface, but this is super, super important. You need to press go to zero here. Um, the Auto Leveler plugin, the, for the starting point, you need to tell them where it's going to, to start measuring. So if you start measuring from this position, uh, it's not going to, to measure correctly. So you need to press go to zero and then it's going to start to measure from here. Sometimes because the, the steppers, you will see that um, the C axis moves a little bit uh, different and the probe 
it's activated. So here, what you can do is to reduce this speed and move it up. If you see, it's almost nothing that I move it up and, and disable the, the probe. So I'm going to zero here on this part. Um, okay. So here I need to open the plugin and here we have several settings that we need to adjust before starting to probing. But uh, first let me load, you need to open the G code uh, that you're going to, to engrave. The plugin, what it does, it's to, to make a grid uh, around your G code and uh, it's going to probe that part of the surface and then that G code is going to be adapted to the new uh, <clears throat> probing surface. So I'm going to open the G code and it's this one. Okay. And here you see you have this X, this is a zero, and you have several points. These points are the probing points. The more the more complicated the surface you are going to engrave. And on this example, we are doing a, um, a probe like like if the bed it's it's not perfectly uh, aligned. So we don't need too much points for this. And in this case, I'm going to put four and four points. If you see, you have four lines and four columns of points. So it is going to be 16. Then the settings. If you click here on the settings, you have several settings here to to modify for the um, for the plugin the probe altitude it's uh, the distance that the probe is going to move above the material above the zero and then start probing the the surface the depth is how much distance is going to probe be beyond the zero because sometimes your surf your surface can be uh, much lower than the zero for example on this case the the right side it's lower and it's going to go down minus eight millimeters maximum so if the zero touch before this this uh, reach the minus eight it's going to probe it uh, okay the speed of the probing it's how fast it's going to to move uh, it, these values are measured in units the units on ucnc are always millimeters now the travel altitude this is the distance that the probe is going to raise and then move fast above the material um, so after probing the um, okay the probe is going to stay stay on four millimeters it's going to move down touch return to five millimeters and then it's going to move to the next point then it's going to lower to four millimeters and start probing again so this is the the altitude Travel speed is the feed rate uh, that the probe is going to move from one point to another. Okay, just change these options and you are set to probe. So I'm going to press OK. Now, uh, uh, after I'm doing this, I'm going to create a G code to uh, do the probing and the machine is going to start probing the surface and it's going to stop. After the machine stops, uh, we need to transfer the zero for the probe to uh, the spindle and the end mill. For that purpose, we are going to use this macro, the P0 macro. The P0, what it does, it's to transfer the point zero measured by the, by the probe to the spindle. And we need uh, the tooling sensor and, of course, the probe. I'm going to show you how it, how this is done on the second part. So first, let's create a G code. Okay, now we see the G code here. That is, um, it's almost the same, but it have these lines. These lines are the the dots that is going to measure. And the G code, you maybe see it that it's a little strange because it's going to do some uh, math operations to calculate the the probing. So here I'm going to press cycle start and the machine is going to start probing. Uh, actually, I'm going to um, open this a little more so you can see it. I'm going to press cycle start uh, like this so you can see the upper part of the door. 
Okay, and you will see that uh, after finishing the probing, the 16 points, uh, the machine will stop and then we continue uh, transferring the, the zero from the probe to the spindle. Okay, cycle start. Okay, it finished. We already have the the zero position for the probe. Um, so if we press go to zero, it's going to move to the starting position and the zero for the surface. So we need to transfer this to the end mill. Uh, what we need is to put the end the probe um, on a flat surface. For example, I'm going to use the front of the um, this part, the front of the material, and here I'm going to put the tool length sensor and do the probing again. So let me move this a little bit like here. Sorry for moving all these windows. I'm going to move up. Oops, let me speed up this. Okay. Okay, let's say I'm going to use this part here. This is important because on this position I'm going to use the probe and the <coughs> tool length sensor to change the zero. So I'm going to press this button here, the P0, and the macro is going to tell me that the probe is going to test the surface, but it's not going to change the zero, it's only going to test it. Then it's going to ask me to change the probe for the for the end mill or any other tools that we want to transfer the, the zero and put the tool length sensor. So we put the tool length sensor, we put the, um, the spindle and it's going to test the the surface one more time with the tooling sensor and then it makes the adjustments and now we have the zero that the probe had before on the on the end mill this is important because we cannot put the tooling sensor on on the on the original surface because it's tilted or maybe it's it's something that we cannot set the tooling sensor properly so that's why we have this method. Uh, okay, so we're going to press this one. It tell me the explanation that I give you. The tribo, the three pro is going to change for an end mill, preserving the zero point. So I'm going to press OK. Touch the surface. Touch the surface second time. It moves up. And then it's waiting for me to replace the Pro for the spindle. So let me do that. Always test your tooling sensor and see if, it, if it's working. So I'm going to press OK and then uh, move to the machine to adjust the tooling sensor to the position press okay okay now the zero it's adjusted to the new end mill perfect if we press go to zero the end mill is going to uh, go to the starting point on top of the material. So we press go to zero. There we go. Okie dokie. Now, uh, to continue, we have to press here cycle start and then the spindle is going to start and it's going to, to do the um, 
the milling. So what I'm going to do here, first I need to turn on the spindle, of course. And just in case, I'm going to move up a little bit so it doesn't scratch the surface. Then for testing, I'm going to turn on the spindle to see if everything is working fine. Perfect. Okay, now we are ready to continue and start the engraving. I'm going to press cycle start and going to engra uh, increase the screen so you can see it. Okay, so you may be going to be able to see it better. Uh, let's see. Oops, there. Okay, so that's how you um, engrave something on an even surface or if the bed is not leveled. Uh, this can be applied to any kind of surface or any size of the surface. Uh, if you are going to engrave or cut something that it's on the bed, on the wall bed, for example, probably you don't need uh, as many points to do the, um, the probing. Uh, but that depends on how much detail you want or how, how uh, the surface is uneven. If it's only inclinated like this, you don't need too much points. Probably even six points will be enough. Uh, because the surface it's it's flat, it's not uh, uh, different in, in any other way. Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you find it useful. And uh, let us know if uh, you have any questions about it. Remember to write to support at stepcraft.us and have fun!